weekend game plan gets out into the community with suburban newspaper sports editor Mark Lidbetter and the Amateur Sports Report. Welcome back, TSN 690. Joey Alfieri on the weekend game plan. I'm replacing a vacationing Matthew Ross. Matt uh, and his wife getting away for uh, for a nice trip down south. It's a little warmer where Matt is uh, as opposed to us, but uh, we keep pulling forward. Joey Alfieri, Dave, trying to do it with you uh, until 9 o'clock. But now, uh, one of my favorite segments with uh, my buddy Mark Lidbetter of the Suburban. Mark, what's going on? Hey, Joey. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How are you? Good, good. And I'd like to say... Best of luck to Mark Barbario. There's another one of the lads that I refereed coming up when he played uh, for the Lakeshore Hockey System. Did you, you obviously you remember uh, watching him uh, up close. Uh, you knew right away that he was uh, he was in a different class. Yeah, you can pick those ones out. Eh? They show they show the what they got, and uh, it, it's nice to see those lads. So let's talk a little bit about uh, some amateur sports. Uh, what's going on here in the amateur sports scene? Uh, there's a former Lakeshore hockey player that uh, needs some help. Yeah, uh, 29-year-old Kevin Butterell, uh, former Lakeshore hockey player, he's been diagnosed for a second time with cancer, oh. and and this he's in need of a bone marrow transplant. So what's happened is his na- his fiance Natasha Camacho Gomez has organized a bone marrow registry drive for today, and that's intended to recruit as many people as possible to join the donor pool, which would hopefully benefit not only Kevin but you know a lot of other people if they turn out to be a match. Now, it's going to take place today at Provigo Le Marche, 16900, Auto Route Trans Canada, Kirkland. And it's going to run from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on the upper level. Hema Quebec's going to be there. They're going to hand out and educate people on how to sign up. There's going to be a raffle with prizes, including Habs tickets, David T's gift packs, free ice time, and other stuff. So, like, you know, people should just stop by, get educated, maybe sign up. You could maybe help save somebody's life. Absolutely, definitely. Our, our thoughts and prayers, definitely, with that entire family. Uh, if we can transition to uh, something else a bit more uh, positive, uh, the Canadians handed out their bursaries, Mark. Yeah, for the tenth consecutive year, the uh, Montreal Canadiens and the Quebec Foundation for Athletic Excellence rewarded twenty-nine young uh, hockey players, male and female, with fifteen hundred dollars scholarships each out at the uh, complex in Brossard nice. yesterday. Nice. Yeah, yeah, and in the the girls. Uh, bursaries. You had a pair of uh, Dawson Lady Blues that received bursaries. You had uh, forward Leonie Silbert from St. Bruno de Martreville. Uh, she earned a silver medal, by the way, with the U18 team, uh, t- Team Quebec at the Canadian Junior Hockey Championships. And uh, you had Beaconsfield's Amherst Landry. She's a center, and she was also on that U18 uh, silver medal team. Now, in the men's awards, which focuses on the Midget AAA League, uh, you had a pair of goalies who took home academic bursaries uh, in academic excellence, actually. You had Verdun's Maxime Talfer of the Chardigny Grenadier and uh, Laval Montreal Russo Royal Carmine Anthony Pagliarolo. Uh, they were tapped for their smarts between the pipes and in the class. Now, the Lac St. Louis Lions were represented by uh, Isaiah Campbell from Pierre Font Roxborough, and his bursary was for academic and athletic achievement. And it just seems like just so much talent, just a lot of sports uh, coming out of the West Island. It's just it's amazing. Uh, there's the West Island Track Club members that had some indoor success. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a busy season for them, but uh, you had in the uh, Benjamin and Cadet Girls at the Rilei uh, Vaudreuil Doria meet, you had Cynthia, Cynthia Kolovas. Uh, she opened her season with a gold medal in the 150-meter sprint and a bronze in the 60-meter. And Cynthia is ranked second and third in Quebec respectively starting the indoor season in those uh, events uh, you had Sydney Campbell won a silver medal in the cadet girls 150 meter sprint at the Doria meet and uh, and this uh, all Roberts was also active with a bronze medal in the 60 meter hurdles and she added a silver medal uh, when she won the overall pentathlon at the Jeux de la Chine very nice and yeah uh... yeah so you know it's uh they they don't stop the track and field. They eh? uh, indoor outdoor yeah. they go year round. It's all year round. That's right. And, and you know what? I, I'm curious. I, I know uh, you have. Uh, we have to get to some uh, Quebec curling. Uh, it's a sport I've never tried before, and it's one that I'm actually dying to try. So I'd like to try it before the winter's out. Uh, but you have some news about the trio of Quebec curlers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, three ladies: Pierre Pons, Martha Don, Lois Baines from Point Claire, and Marianne Robertson of Kirkland were inducted into the Curling Quebec Hall of Fame as part of the class of 2017. 
Now, all three members are uh, curl out of the Glenmore Curling Club in, Darla, uh, in Dollard. And Martha and Marianne are both seven-time provincial championship uh, champions, three-time national champions, and they were members of the silver medal team with Lois at the World Senior Championships in 2000. And Lois is also an 11-time provincial champ and a three-time national champion. So I mean, just some real talent, and they're still curling. You know, the away they go. Absolutely. Have you ever have you ever curled, uh, Mark? Yeah, I did a little curling in high school with the boys, and uh, we've done it a couple of times at charity events. You got to pick up a broom and give it a try. Uh, how tough? Because I'll be honest, everyone says the same thing. It doesn't look difficult, but I've heard for everybody who tries it for the first time, it's it's like a nightmare. I had a buddy who was a good curler. Tore his hamstring. Really coming out of the coming out of the blocks there. Wow! And uh, I mean, you know, it's it's a very tough sport. You got to give it a try, and you got to give it its respect because you got to be uh, pretty good with the cardio as well, sweeping and going up and down the ice. Okay, so maybe uh, you and I can get together and uh, you can show me the ropes a little bit. Hey, I'm right here by the Point Claire Curling Club. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks for this, Mark. Have a good week. You too. Take Mar- care, Mark Lidbetter of the Suburban with uh, some local uh, amateur sports.